Hey what is up guys, TV here and here's a new video for you guys and this is in regard to um, fixing the this device is in play protect errors and as well as the annoying requires um, action notifications while doing the uh, GMS installation. So this would also serve as an, uh, the, the newest installation guide that I am you know providing you guys in this channel here so pretty much it's like you're starting from scratch so you won't get any more um, errors so if you're interested let's go ahead and start all right so we are back now for those who are new in this channel um guys if you would like to support me and this channel please make sure to click that subscribe button and uh, turn on the notification bell so you will get notified with my new videos in here and also please do like this video share it so many of us um Huawei users will get um you know benefit from it and so let's go ahead and start the process as you can see right now guys gms is installed uh, natively on this device and we are now getting this error and if you open play store so pretty much lately a lot of us guys are getting these uh, errors um so let's go ahead and, and address that using my new files here so I will link down in the description of this video the file. So the file is named as RDTV GMS. Okay, and here are the files that we will be needing for this process. Now, first of, um, make sure guys to delete all uh, Google apps. You know the the major Google apps that Google is providing us like the Gmail YouTube anything that's related guys that's uh, made by Google itself okay so here are the apps that I'm going to remove from this device first and the reason for this guys is because for those apps that, that has uh, produced the error even if you fix GMS and you open them, they will still give you that, that error. And you know, this is just to make sure that everything is um, started clean as possible. And then, so of course, in, in the settings, go to apps, apps, search for goo. Let me just mute the notifications here. Um, make sure to delete everything from here. All right. Okay. Everything is removed. So now we'll go to our files and we'll start with this one here. So this will let you add your accounts. Let me add mine here. And make sure you don't have the accounts anymore under the user and accounts uh, here so let me remove them hold on they might be under my uh... okay hopefully it's removed now sorry about that okay no more Google accounts here so I guess I have to reinstall my app here let's open and add an account okay so I'm putting out putting in now my credentials really quick almost done here for the first account just doing this 
two step security thing here. So please bear with me. I'm getting a code right now. And I have that. One more. Almost done, guys. So at this point, this is just for um, adding the accounts. Or Google accounts and don't delete this app guys so you can just hide it anywhere you want so for the meantime I'll just let it stay there so you will see what apps I'm using here so now our Google account is here and then let's go back to our files now we can install contact sync Play Store Um, we'll just do the framework later let's just go back here to our accounts and make sure contacts is sync here and then it's okay if the other one doesn't have it guys okay so long as one of them has that and sync properly then we can proceed with the framework and waiting for it now so let's see come on install sometimes it really just takes time for it to install for some reasons sometimes it just takes really quick to install as well framework is done now we'll proceed to the fifth file and again we're just waiting for the installation to complete and then afterwards we will open Play Store to check if it's alive so all right that's done now let's look for Play Store and wait for it to load just try to reopen it Just keep on retrying. Open it back. You can also try to close reopen please store in this case guys. reopen you can also try to reinstall it just to make sure Play Store will load for this to install and it's taking time again to complete the installation and we're just waiting for it to finish
come on. Alright, now let's try again and open Play Store. There you go. Okay, so until it loads, guys, uh, make sure to close reopen, close reopen Play Store, and then uh, reinstall the uh, fifth file until Play Store loads completely. Okay, so once Play Store is loaded, you will start getting these annoying uh, services requires action something errors or notifications just let it stay there and uh, go back to our settings and apps list now go to framework and click on storage and clear the data so it may say recomputing just wait for it to do its thing until it's cleared Sometimes it also takes time for it to do this thing, so you just really need to wait for it. Hopefully this one here won't take that long. Hopefully it's nearly finished now. Come on. I'm just tapping the clear cache here, but okay there. And then go back and try to force stop it if it will. If not, it's okay. But better if it, it will force stop. And if not just let it stay that way just close reopen play store and then wait for it to uh, just show you the error you may need to close reopen it as well well there's no error and we have our profile pic on there and no uh, message popping up as well with the requires action thing so if this is the case guys you can go ahead and uh, uninstall or check first framework and see if it's the I mean the size is not more than 400 kilobytes if it's less than 400 uh, go ahead and uninstall the services from here under apps And then you can install the last file. Okay, so now it should stop giving you errors. And Play Store should, you know, uh, load just fine. May take uh, for it to get close reopened, for it to start again. So just like that. Then at this point, guys, make sure to check that the version of your Play Services now is at. 20.12.14 so basically at this point guys we are done okay so this this has already been installed successfully and uh, it's working just fine so we can just close everything out then try again a couple of times to check again okay so um at the step guys after we clear the uh, the frameworks uh, data if play store does not load or just give you that um, error um, make sure to just reinstall the this file here and just go back uh, where is that rent or RDTV gym okay so just reinstall the the fifth file 
and uh, keep closing and reopening Play Store until it goes alive. If not, keep as well on reinstalling the first file, and uh, eventually it will go alive. And uh, once it's alive, if there's no errors popping up anymore, then you're good. You just need to check on the uh, framework size. It should be below 400 KB or around that, okay? But not around uh, 600 kilobytes or something like that because it will still generate some errors. So if there's there's still errors, guys, just repeat the process. You just need to go back under settings, apps, apps, and then search for Google um, show system processes here, and then you should just clear the cache and data for Google uh, Services Framework, and then once cleared, you can close Play Store and then reload P Play Store until you won't receive any errors anymore. So basically, that's just the idea there, okay? But this this should be just really easy for you to install, guys. So. There you go guys, um, this has already fixed our play protect error as well as the requires an action errors popping up. As you can see, even if I close reopen play store, there are no more errors there. So I can even install apps right now, like YouTube, Gmail, Maps. Let's wait so you would see if it works or not but it definitely will work guys I can assure you that let me just update everything here as well okay all right so for YouTube there you go that's good now for Gmail that's working maps it should work as well all right there you go guys so now hope this has helped you and once again this file here just don't delete this one just you know put this anywhere um, inside a folder or something like that that's up to you guys because if you delete that it will also delete all your accounts under your user and accounts um, menu here so pretty much again hopefully this has helped you and if it did and especially if you're new here please make sure to subscribe in this channel like this video share it as well and don't forget to to turn on the notification bell so you will get updated with my videos here and for those who are already subscribers thank you very much guys for always viewing my videos or watching my videos and for your support so once again, thank you. See you in my next one. Peace. Hello my friends, Renz Dags TV here and if you like my video, please smash that like button, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your help. Here's how you do it. Boom. Bada bim bada boom. And if you are on your phone, here's how you do it. Boom. Bada bim bada boom. Thank you and see ya in my next videos. Peace.